Hello friends, in this video I'm going to do one excellence question that was in 2008's uh, algebra paper of NZQA. Okay, now this is a qualification authority called NZQA which is New Zealand Qualification Authority. They conduct uh, external exams and all, all qualification exams. So this is a level 2 which is for year 12 in New Zealand. So the name of the standard is manipulate algebraic expression and solve equations. Okay. So what does the question say? A train station at the theme park is housed in an A-framed building that has a large entrance. So this is a train station in the theme park. This is letter A. The front of the building has is the shape of an isosceles triangle. So what they are saying is these two sides are equal with a base of 5 meters and a height of 10 meters. The entrance is rectangular and touches the side of the building. So this is the entrance which is rectangular. Let the width, let the width of the entrance be x meters. So they are saying this is x meters and the height is so the entrance has a height of h meters and a width of x meters. Express h x in terms of h. So we can do this in two different ways. So first, if you know similar triangles, uh, that becomes uh, similar triangles are triangles having the same shape. Okay, so let me get a thinner pen. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to draw two similar triangles. Suppose this is one triangle, or sorry, the, the mother triangle. So this is, this is the mother triangle. Okay, so I'll redraw. This is the mother triangle. So this mother triangle is similar to the dotted triangle. So I'll draw a dotted triangle in a different color, slightly thicker, say blue color. So what they are saying is these two triangles are similar. Okay, so if two triangles are similar, you should be knowing that the sides are proportional. So this triangle, suppose let us name this triangle A, B, C, and this is A, D, F, suppose. Okay, so can I say triangle A, B, C, I can write, oh, sorry, I can write better than that. I can say triangle ABC, that's a dotted triangle, is similar to, is similar, there's a notation for similar, but I'm not writing that, to triangle ADF. They are similar. So if two triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. So x is corresponding to 5. Okay. Okay. And I'll have to draw the height here. So let me draw a height here. Suppose this is my height in this triangle. In this triangle, this is the height. So this, say this is, so suppose let me name this. Uh, e. I don't have E. Okay. So can you understand A E is similar to uh, to 10. Okay. Or this length. So let me draw the whole. So what I mean is suppose if I extend this. So this becomes A E suppose E F G. So can I say, therefore, can I say, uh, what can I say, BC over, BC over DF, they are similar sides, would be equal to, uh, this is A, okay, so let me bring the, let me write A down a little. So this is triangle A and AE 
would be similar to or a a e is proportional to a g just like that okay so this becomes what is bc now bc is x over df which is phi which is equal to a e now a e is uh, this is your h and the whole thing is 10 so can i say this is nothing but 10 minus h because from year to year it is 10 and the distance from year to year is or the distance from year to year g you can say this is also h if this is h this is also h and the whole thing is 10 so this will be 10 minus h so 10 minus h over 10 minus h over 10 okay so now you have to just cross multiply if we want to write this in terms of x so i can say or multiplying both sides by phi so it is phi times 10 minus h over 10 okay so this becomes x is equal to half so phi divided so i can say phi over 10 times 10 minus h which is half times 10 minus h this can be the answer but if you want to simplify h is phi minus half of h now this is one way of doing it but at times uh, you may not be able to see that these two triangles are similar so i'm going to show a different way of doing the same example Okay, now if you look at the triangle, okay, let me delete, let me delete this now. Now we're going to look at this example in a different way. So here, we're going to, the area of the whole triangle, the area of the whole triangle we can find, we can know the base and we know the height. So we can find the area of the whole triangle. And then we can find the area of the whole triangle would be equal to the area of this triangle, this dotted triangle, plus these two side triangle, plus the area of entrance. So let me write that. So can I say area of, or the total area of the triangle, so let me write like that, total area of the triangle, of the triangle is half times base. What's the base? The base is phi and the height is 10. So half base times 10. So which is 25 meters squared. And that we know that this is this is the base and this is the height which is x h minus 10 minus, sorry, this is uh, 10 minus h, yeah, 10 minus h, so this was your h, okay. Now here, as this is an isosceles triangle, these two sides are equal, so I hope you understand this is, say, x over 2, because the sides would be equal. So this would be, this length this length, uh, the distance from year to year is 2.5, hmm? and the distance from year to year is also 2.5 meters, okay, because the isosceles triangle uh, splits the base. So if this is 2.5 from year to year, the distance from year to year is 2.5, and we know this is x over 2, I can say this would be 2.5 or I can say phi over 2 phi over 2 minus half x okay, so that's your base of the side triangle so this would also be phi over 2 minus half x Okay, so I'm going to say now, so area of this whole triangle is equal to area of these two side triangle plus area of this entrance plus area of the top. 
Okay, so can I say now, therefore, uh, what is the 25 is equal to half times the mother triangle has the base of x. Sorry, the daughter triangle, the top triangle has the base of x and the height of 10 minus x. So the total 25 is equal to half times base, which is x, times height is 10 minus x, plus the entrance has the area of hx, plus you've got two side triangles, so I'm going to write twice, two times half of phi over 2 uh, minus x over 2 times the height okay the height is height of this side triangle is h okay so we have to do a little bit of algebra so this is 25 is equal to half half x times 10 half x times 10 will give you 5x uh, minus half hx plus hx and this and this will get half, 2 times half will get cancelled. So that is 2 times half will get cancelled. So what are we getting? So can I take the half out? So you can get half out. So you're getting 5 minus x. Uh, let me write half h like this. So this will become 25 is equal to 5x minus half hx plus hx plus this is phi over 2h minus half hx now this is half hx and half x is minus 1x so these three will get cancelled because this is so let me rewrite this but this is 25 is equal to 5x uh, plus x minus half hx minus half hx uh, plus phi over 2h. Now, I hope you can see that this is this will get cancelled. So I'll cancel this. So what has remained? So you've got 25 is equal to 5x plus phi over 2h. Okay, so I'm going to divide. So, so therefore, what can I do? So this is 25 minus 2.5h is equal to 5x. I'm going to divide now by 5. So if you divide this over 5, this by 5, this by 5. So you got x is equal to 5 minus 25 divided by 2.5 divided by 5 is same as half h. And that's what we got in the in a different way using similarity. Okay, so let me show you. So one answer was this by using similar triangles and this is using a different approach phi minus half h see you in the next video